Back to Harbaugh. Time for the Sideshow. First up, can't get enough with Tiger Woods and his pursuits dominating the media sleaze patrols. Saturday Night Live imagines what it must be like to have your sleaze story overlooked. Here they were this weekend from left to right. John Edwards, Mark Sanford, and John Ensign. It's not as though our affairs weren't messy. I mean, for example, when I went to visit my girlfriend, I had a really preposterous cover story about hiking the Appalachian Trail. <laughs> Tiger didn't even bother to think of one. Like Tiger's girlfriends, my girlfriend was married. That's pretty bad. Yeah, again, I had a love child. <laughs> but the press barely covers us. My wife just filed for divorce. Try finding that in the papers. I paid hush money to my ex-girlfriend's husband. Yeah, excuse me, maybe I wasn't clear, but I had a love child. <laughs> An illegitimate, out of wedlock, parents not married, baby bastard love child. <laughs> wow, I wonder if even they were laughing. Next, one last question. Check out the final bit of that 60 Minutes Obama interview from last night. At that point, we thought the interview was over, and then our executive producer suggested one more question. The gate crashers. Yeah. By now, you must know. It's a really a shame that I had to go through a whole 60-minute interview without talking about the gate crashers. <laughs> Good catch. <laughs> Everybody's really thinking that's the bit of real life you don't usually see on TV. Anyway, over in Italy, another security breach, and this one had much more serious consequences. The Prime Minister of Italy, Silvio Berlusconi, was hit by a statuette thrown at him by a man with a history of mental illness who somehow got close enough to the Italian leader to do real damage to him. Berlusconi had a broken nose and two broken front teeth. Word today is that Berlusconi will be hospitalized until at least tomorrow.